November 1st, and we're going to do a Pathophilum Part 2 update. It's been uh, hanging in the decompression area underneath the umbrella. I did hanging. I did have it hanging in the garden patio area, but it just wasn't enough sun filtering through the white umbrella. So I did a, a what do you call that? Sun intensity analysis or whatever, and found out that more sun was filtering through the yellow umbrella. So I moved it over here <clears throat> the week after. Or maybe a couple of days after I purchased the uh, patio columns. And it looks like there's been some movement. I just hope a frog isn't in there. You know, because they like to snuggle in underneath uh, the pot. So we're going to take it down. <sighs> yeah. And take a look inside the pot. There's been a little movement. stuff out of the way okay that that bulb there or that flower bulb there is definitely growing okay what I did was I did a mixture of uh, rain water okay it looks like that little whatever that is I don't know if it's a leaf or a bulb that's growing they are slow growing but it seems to be loving the position and it looks like whatever that is down there. Let's see if we can get a yeah, right there. That's growing. Yeah, people say they're slow growing, but I seem to be getting some pretty good growth um, from my path. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, definitely. So we're gonna peek in around. I'll explain what that white is in a second. And I peek and hope a frog doesn't jump out at me. Okay, it looks like something else. Okay, I found another new growth, which wasn't there when I purchased. See that down in there? We got that. Yeah, and that was from the two spent flower, uh, flower spikes that we saw earlier. Here's the, the other one, and now it's kicking out something here could be a leaf but whatever it is I'll take it <clears throat> not picky at all okay like that leaf is growing down there yeah so they seem to be okay with their environment excuse me the humidity is just so high right now get it off my forehead so you can see I'm not kidding that's humidity running off my face. Okay, so, yeah, back to the path. So, it's getting basically a lot of humidity. There's something there. Yeah, fantastic. So, let me explain what this white is. When I moved it over into this position, I got my seashells. I bought an extra bag of... Uh, seashells i dumped them out in the uh, pails that don't leak and i took the water from the seashells which are here and here's the water here that i use to uh, feed the uh, paths with yeah that's all they get is that seashell water that's why it's it's so white see it's white everywhere around here that's a uh, that's a little grit in there. Not much, but it is gritty, like sandy-like. And uh, it's poured in or sprayed in. Yeah, on the leaves also. I spray it on the leaves and in the pots. Absolutely. And that's all I give it. And I wait for the sphagnum. It is uh, somewhat dry like this isn't soggy but it's moist so I make sure I don't I don't overdo it with the water so I did a lot of research and I listened to a lot of vlogs on taking care of paths so going forward we'll see if I make the grade <laughs> I'm not promising anything but I'm I'm doing my best yeah see if I make the grade 
And that is my Pathiopelum update, part two. Yeah, beginning of the month. Absolutely. Let's see if I can stick that back. It looks like some weeds are growing in down there. We got to pull those out of there because they suck all the moisture out. We don't want them taking anything or causing any problems with my paths. Oh, I'm working hard to keep them alive. Absolutely. Yep, so we're going to hang them back in their position. There's a nice little fan there. <laughs> so cute. It's full of grit from the seashells, and it's okay. I was told if it gets on the leaves. So now we're going to hang it back. Make sure I don't drop it. I could get it turned around so I could stick my thumb in there for support. Okay, so we're going to hang these guys back and uh, and uh, wait. That's really not where I want to hang it. I want to hang it on the other hook. But uh, this is its position. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching and have a great orchid growing day right there there she is with plenty of buds look at all those buds back there she's loaded with buds to open but this is one overwhelming orchid here when it comes to a fragrance let me see if I could get her tag out of here That's who it is. And on top of that, this guy is in flower. Yes, it is. Flowers all year round. And it's getting ready to rain again. And that is the name of this guy. Let me get the tag out so you'll see. Yep. My nodosas are definitely putting on a show. Yes, they are. And smelling fantastic. Yep. <sighs> All right. So now we know where that fragrance is coming from. So, whoa, I can enjoy it. Fantastic. Yeah. Happy growing. <laughs> oh, yeah. 